Good afternoon, everybody. The purpose of this uh, short video is to demonstrate how to caption a meeting or class session recorded in Microsoft Teams. So if we open Microsoft Teams, uh, anytime you hold a Microsoft Teams meeting, the uh, meeting is automatically captured in a chat uh, in a group chat window uh, and in a meeting where no recording is made this is all the detail that you'll get and then any information shared in the chat is available. Uh, in a meeting however uh, and I had one earlier today where you record a video uh, of, a, of the meeting uh, you'll also see that recording. Now, word of caution here, this recording does not initially show up uh, as soon as you end the meeting. It will, there will be a placeholder here that will tell you that the recording is processing and that they'll let you know when it's available. You do not have to stay in Teams for that processing to occur. Uh, it happens in the background. And when the video is available, in addition to it popping up here in Teams, uh, it will also send you an email uh, and say that you have a new video uh, available for view in Microsoft Stream, which is sort of the YouTube streaming service uh, equivalent that Microsoft has. A secondary note, uh, if you associated your meeting with a particular channel, in Teams, uh, this same video uh, icon and transcript information does show up uh, right in that channel. Anyway, uh, once your video is finished uh, processing here and does show up, in order to uh, add captioning, you're going to want to click on these three dots and open the video in Microsoft Stream. So we'll do that. It'll take just a second here for the video to open. Uh, you may be prompted uh, to sign in to access your video with your uh, GGC credentials. And a caution, uh, videos are, are set in Microsoft Stream to auto uh, play. Now, a couple things to note. Your screen initially when you sign in to view a video is going to look a little different than mine. You see that there's a transcript window here. This is not initially available okay, um, in your video because you will not have a transcript initially. This interactivity window is actually what is uh, initially available. Okay, To add captions to your video, uh, and you'll note the other thing that's not here, uh, that you will not see in your video this CC or closed captioning uh, icon initially, it will be absent but I've pre-captioned this video for this demonstration. Uh, to add captions, scroll below the video and click on these three dots underneath the uh, video title uh, next to the share and add uh, watch list uh, items and select update video details. And when you do, you'll get a window that will open that will look like this. Uh, and you can modify a number of things for our purposes. Let's just stick to talking about captions. So uh, on the left hand pane under details, it will tell you right here uh, that you need to select a language in order for captioning to be available. The default is no language selected. So in the drop down menu, you can select the native language of the speakers in the video course for most of us that's going to be English and English is a supported captioning language. As soon as you collect, click English over here in the options tab on the right uh, you will notice that the checkbox next to auto generating a caption is uh, available. Okay, uh, And what will happen is that checkbox is automatically checked. The only other thing that you have to do to start the captioning process is scroll back up here to the top and click on apply. Now I in this case did not change any options so I actually can't select uh, apply because I didn't make any changes but the apply button turns this sort of fuchsia uh, color that you see down here where all the other check boxes are. Once you click apply the system will begin to auto generate captions. 
Uh, there is an approximately two to one ratio in terms of the time of the video versus the time required to generate captions. So if your video is an hour in length, it's pretty good bet from the time you hit apply to the time the captions are ready, it's going to take about two hours. Uh, mine went a little faster than that this time, but as people get using the system, that certainly may uh, slow down. The other thing that is true is remember that captioning, auto captioning in particular, is a machine learning process. It's not perfect. Um, you do have options for editing captions. I'll show you one of those in just a second. But I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel here. Uh, since I can't click apply because I didn't change any of my options. But once you do that, you'll be brought back to your video, which will uh, reload up here. And I'm going to pause it again so that it does not play uh, audio over the top of me. And I'm actually going to go ahead and mute the audio for just a second. Um, but once you come back, then this transcript window will show up. Initially, it's just going to tell you that the transcript is processing. You'll know that the video is ready when you see stuff in this transcript window. If for some reason your transcript window does not show up automatically, down here under View Settings, you can click to show or hide the transcript window. Right now you notice I have it as shown. Uh, this is the place where you can edit your transcript. Um, or one of the places we can edit the transcript by clicking on the pencil. Um, and you can do some, some different things with the features here. We won't focus on the edit right now. So I'll turn the, I'll leave the audio off on this, this video playing behind me, but I will turn on the play. And you'll see that the trend, the captioning pops up. If you don't see your captions, uh, click over here on the closed captioning button. Or if you don't want to see your captions for yourself, you can turn them off and toggle them uh, back on as you go. Uh, thank you for uh, to Rashad and Katie for being the guinea pigs for this video uh, without uh, a whole lot of warning uh, for me that this was going to happen. So we'll go ahead and pause that. So captions work here. You can also download this video and upload it in other channels, etc. cetera. Uh, but your captions also work uh, back over here in Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to launch the same video. Here, and it's going to play in the Teams window, uh, and this time we'll play with audio and show you the captions. Yes, they are. And so that's one of the things with the timing. And again, that um, in this process, um, you can toggle the captions on and off in your video recording that shows up right in Teams. So I hope that's helpful. Hope that gives you a little bit uh, of an idea of how to caption a video recording done in Microsoft Teams. I will post this content uh, in various places so that faculty who want to use Microsoft Teams uh, to record lectures, uh, et cetera, synchronous and asynchronous things uh, know how to do that. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.